the plane tires are different from car tires. First, just how it's constructed. The rubber that they use, they lay it on a diagonal, layer over layer, each on a diagonal to the circumference of the tire where a car tire is radial. It's around the tire. The tread pattern is different too on an airplane tire. It's usually just a straight line right down the middle, right? It's just a groove to allow for water to spray off so you don't hydroplane on landing and you can keep contact with the runway even in standing water. Between each layer, they have threads and specifically on an F-16 tire, you're allowed a certain number of threads to be showing and that is how the ground crew determines if the tire needs to be changed or not. It's really a great system and sometimes depending on the tire, nose tire, main gear tire, there's a red thread or white threads and they can have a certain number of threads showing before they know they have to change the tire and it's different for the main and the nose wheel tire. And after every landing and after every flight, the crew chief, the ground crew is checking the tires for those thread patterns to make sure that the tire has not exceeded its useful life. They're typically inflated with nitrogen instead of regular oxygen because of how much the oxygen expands as you climb and descend and you're constantly changing in altitude. You've probably seen pictures of people standing by like a jumbo jet where the tire comes up to their chest. It's not like that on an F-16. The tires are actually relatively small, even smaller than a lot of car tires. But if you have more questions like that, please drop them in the comments or send me a message. Like and follow if you like this content.